up? How's everybody's week been? Great. Shit. We got, you know, we got to go one by one. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. My week's been pretty good. I had one of like probably one of the best days that worked in a while. It's been kind of slow at my job, but yesterday it was really good. And I've been making a lot of music with a lot of people, trying to network more and do everything. So I'm just trying to physically create out of the world so you can see it at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My week, my week's been good. You know, I can't complain. I never complain. Never gonna complain. But my week's been pretty good. You know, it's neither there. What about you, Juice? Uh, you know, my week has just been absolutely phenomenal. I'm blessed and highly favored. You know, mm-hmm. I'm trying to keep it clean. That's pretty much it, man. Man, yeah. all right. So, uh, you know, of course, they always be talking about how their weeks have been all good. They never. Mm-hmm. So look, Tati on explaining. So like, look, I'm motherfucking. I'm trying to do this show, right? And then I realized, man, maybe this show isn't the best idea, right? It's the organization, a lot of a lot of things going into this show, right? So you know, we do. I perform. I felt like I gave my best performance. You know, I felt like I was actually awarded. Should have been awarded money for this show. Whether it's been twenty dollars or whatever, I should I deserve to get paid. And no longer me paying to speak to you. A microphone with a sock on. Where have this sock been? That's what I performed it with. Yes, and I know we performed in socks before too at right. our shows, right? But was I char- I would never charge somebody three hundred, four hundred dollars for that. Perform with a sock. A sock. And my vocals was chipping. Let me yeah, tell I gotta you. stop the janky shit, man. Come yeah. on, man. And then wanting all this money for it, you might have to let's perform for free. And I'm getting tired of going to shows that are only the artists here. Like, where's the marketing at, yo? Like, where are the people? We give you this money to, to, to put it to the marketing, yo. Other than that, charge us like a little simple amount. And then all I'm gonna say is, yo, y'all gonna stop playing around because if you keep playing around, somebody gonna put hands on you. And then when someone put hands on you, you cannot, you, you just can't, you can't, you can't be upset. Things happen. This is what it is, man. It is what it is. But my week, man, it's been all right. Other than that, um, I would say, you know, um, everything just comes back full circle. That's all I want to say. We're going to make that nigga top nine with us. Look, because look, all we come in peace. We come in peace. But look, the narrative be crazy out here. And that is not who we are. Everyone who knows us knows us. Everyone who knows who has been spreading these rumors, what type of person you know those people are truly are. So there's nothing left to really be said about it. So let's get into the show, man. How about the fucking charges, baby? Yeah, bolt up. Oh yeah. yeah football right season right around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Man, I can't wait for football Big season. Dallas. Man. Big Cowboys on here. Basketball season on worldwide. Football this year season. for sure. Yeah, hit my input. I'm a 49ers fan. Cowboys making this year going all the way. I'm not right. saying every year. Well, for some I'm reason, they can't ever get past the playoffs. I know, I know but this will be the year. Commanders, do you like juice? 49 The 49ers, Chargers, and Dallas. You heard it there first. We'll be coming back to y'all when the season starts with, right. some, with some predictions and stuff like that. Y'all, gotta, fun. Be, y'all gotta get some props to the Commanders. We got Michael Magic Irving Johnson as our owner. Mm-hmm. Don't nobody can. Nah, 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 Commanders, y'all at the bottom of the list. Y'all better. So what? We got a. We got a. Y'all got a basketball player coaching football. Like, don't matter. Y'all better have some drafts. He ain't played football a day in his life. Y'all gotta appreciate the history. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the love. The man has got to come back, but is he even? Is he even from Washington? Is from Washington D.C.? Is he from the D.M.V.? Nah, he's not. So what the fuck? What do you come back for? What do you come out here for? Where is Magic Johnson from? Right, California. I think. The whole other side of the country. Yeah, I don't know, but that man, that man fight. had HIV and that shit. He's the strongest man in the world. Uh, I'll tell you what, y'all better get RG3. Y'all don't RG3 shit. hasn't played since 2003. He probably, you know what I'm saying? saying? But that was the last time the Commanders made some noise. 2013, Yeah, that's... Nah, we was good. We was kind of decent with, um... 
Adrian Peterson. Oh, Adrian Peterson, the old ass. He was old as fuck. Y'all remember? Uh, Adrian Peterson, nice though. Y'all had him, y'all. Jason fucking Campbell. We was decent with that nigga. And we have McNabb. The nigga from Michigan. Oh, with Donovan, yeah. We get all the fucking terrible people. But look, I want to talk a little bit about New York City, man. Like I have all New York. The city that never sleeps. Bro, it's so amazing out here. And I can't wait for all of us to go. I'm bringing Western this to New York, guys. That's the hook for all of to New York. Are y'all ready to go to New York? And I hope y'all are, because I've never been I to New York. I was just there a couple months ago. Oh, I'm going to New York. I've never been to New York. Two goddamn weeks. It's pretty outside. expensive. I'm state of mind. Man. I'm going to be I'm outside. outside. We're dancing and shit. Like, y'all do shit. Shout out to Jairo. I'm trying to make that little Uzi jump. Shout out to Jairo King. I had a Jairo from Jairo King out there. Oh, my God. Fucking real Jairo. Oh, uh, a Jairo? Uh, a year old? Yeah, a year old, yeah, yeah. So amazing. <laughs> so amazing. But um, New York, man, it was a place of like, felt good just driving around that bitch, everybody driving fast, niggas double park, just obstacles and shit. Y'all know I like NASCAR, so I like driving and shit, so that shit was just an experience for me. And motherfucking, yo, uh, y'all, I'm telling you, bro, like, the, the energy I felt from that motherfucking place. Oh, uh, yeah, that's gangsta out there. Yeah, I love it. Shout out to Brooklyn, man. Shout out to all the people in Brooklyn. I mean, man, shout out my family in New York, man. Shout out to everybody, bro. I'm trying to tell you. New York, we about to be spending a lot of time. Yeah, big love from New York. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Jay-Z, man. We went to the, he got a, 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 in the library, he got a little museum. Oh, man, the chicken is that nigga. Yeah, he got a little museum. It's there until October. So we got to go check that shit out. Uh, I've only seen a little bit of it, but... We yeah, trip, trip for that. We're going. We're going. We're going to go. Me and Lizzie were talking about it. Where we got to, we got to make trips to New York frequently. We're going to do shit that these niggas ain't doing. We're going to travel. We're bringing the podcast to you. We're to, to a city near you. A city near you. A city near you. Are y'all traveling? Or are y'all going to just stay in y'all little cubicles? Right. Which one are you going to get? Your box? Are you going to venture outside to the new world? Or are you going to stay here? I don't think I don't think people are really inspired enough to really do more. And doing other podcasts and like the watching. <laughs> Showing off your other Terrible. Videos. Yeah. That's I don't crazy. think I just don't think people are inspired enough to do more. That's just the bottom line. But it is what it is, man. But New York City is a great, amazing place. I advise y'all to get in New York City. Um if you haven't been. Um I'll do one more before we get into your topics so obviously. What makes her a vibe? Ooh. What makes her a fucking vibe? I don't know how to explain it. Once she get your head and not headaches. You feel me? Like, I think it's just as basic as that. You know, when she when she's when she's the place you trying to go and not the place you trying to get away from. Right. It's all about the aura, it's all about the energy, it's all about right. how you make me feel at the end of the day. If you're not adding to my life, then I need to subtract you. That's my opinion on it. I feel that. I definitely feel that. I think what makes her a vibe is whatever you want. It's a general question because like people have different things for a vibe, right? So like me as a vibe, I like a jump that just like she just chills. So she come over, she might fall asleep or whatever. She might, but she just on chill vibe. It's like a homie, you know what I'm saying? That's a vibe. You feel what I'm saying? As opposed to somebody who causes headache and friction. I don't like headache and friction. I don't think any nigga does. Some niggas <laughs> like headache and friction. Some niggas do. That's because they're headache and friction. So it's just, you know, you're not like, though. I, I mean, honestly, bro, like, your energy is so sacred. And, like, sometimes you know how you'll be having, like, you'll feel like, dog, why does it feel like I'm always, like, fighting a battle? And it normally just be because of people around you, like. And then doors be closing for a reason, yo. Know? So you always got to remember that shit. Let these doors fucking close and inspire to be one. I feel like it's the euphoria. Ooh, I said, like, oh, speaking of euphoria, someone. Um, yeah, the dude, uh, he looked like Mac Miller. Yeah, uh, Agnes, 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 Cloud. Agnes Cloud. Yeah, Angus Cloud, something like that. His name is English, what? Angus, Angus Cloud or something. Oh, like, like, Angus, like, Angus, like Angus Steak? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I said, oh, Angus Steak. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Word. Yeah. Well, Rest in peace to him. I like that one. Why he has to love Pee Wee Herman died too. I don't know how he died. Yeah, R.I.P. Pee Wee Herman. It's funny how he died. Yeah, that's it's a shame to be died. But yeah, it's um. Died so early. It
the euphoria that you get from the girl, I guess, like that yeah. feeling of you mean that relaxment, you like you said, just I get feet not running me up. Man. I love females, man. I just love to talk to them, invent to them, talk about my day. Says his death remains unknown. Rumors and speculation surface that the speculations have surfaced, but they lack substantial evidence. So it must have not have been an autopsy. No, uh, that nigga got off. Yeah. yeah. That's a that's a show. Yeah. Niggas yeah. didn't do that. They're trying to come up with something. These suicides, there's a drug overdoses, yo. And that even was only 25. So yeah, it's they're still like, in the multiverse right now. Yeah. Because it's crazy how him and Mac Miller were just similar alike and they both gone off. Like, that's crazy. It was so crazy. He was supposed to play a biopic uh, for Mac Miller, I think. That's crazy. Like, he was supposed to do an actual, I think it was a Netflix show or some, or some type of movie for him. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, R.I.P. Mac Miller, they said it as a right. with the Fenty. Man, the Fenty is out here. That shit is yeah. knocking shit. niggas down. Yeah, for real. Y'all got you know, stay off the drugs, man. Y'all yeah, seen the video of ASAP Bar getting jumped and mm-hmm. calling them? Mm-hmm. Man, I, I, I still ain't seen the fucking video. To tell you the truth, I just seen pictures of it. Oh, of the video, which I'm like, how you don't got the video, but you got pictures of the video. <laughs> but somebody, I don't video. know. He said basically he knocked the nigga out. That took a chain out of his car a couple years ago. Oh wow! In Harlem, and he knocked him out cold, and then his men jumped on him. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Hey, that's what happens, man. So look, come once again. Stop playing with niggas. If you get start playing with niggas, you're gonna get stepped the fuck on. Once again, I'm the last person you should be playing with. You've been asking for this for weeks, months. My like, God, Monty. damn, man. Yeah. People just gotta learn, bro. Yeah. You can't play with people. Certain people will sue you. Certain people will hit you. Certain people will choke you to death. So you just have to understand. To yes, you just have to understand which one you're dealing with and understand your consequences. Hey, you know what? Speaking of getting knocked the fuck out, we don't ever get to cover my favorite topic, my favorite sport, oh, sport boxing. of boxing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Terrence Crawford was uh, successful, became yeah, the first time uh, two division undisputed champion and knocked out Earl Spence. I just want to uh, talk about that. Did anybody catch it? I didn't watch the jump, but I heard you all watch the fight. So yeah, me and OZ went and watched it. Uh, at Jay's. Fucking side effects are crazy. Dude, she was fucking nuts, bro. Yo, I'm not going to lie, y'all. Smith let me down, bro. He let me down. I thought you was at least going to last the whole fight. Mm-hmm. I didn't think you was going to get beat like a child, like you said he was going to do you. He told you he was going to do he you like that. that, that I'm playing with that. I'm playing Stop with it. With he said, you said he was going to have to show you, and got that. He told you. He would punch your ass up. Yeah, you played with that man for months. Mm. Weeks. Weeks. Even. Like. But you know, I still fuck with you, my boy. You only lost one fight. And you know, that ain't that ain't that bad. You know, that ain't that bad. But I heard that uh, Earl Spence is going to activate his rematch clause at 154. So the next fight they do, they're not going to do it at 147. They're going to do it at 154. Heavy. The nigga tried to say he was dehydrated. Mm. Shit, they said I was But I don't think that had nothing to do with it. I mean, Earl Spence took the fight. He was talking all this shit about how he was going to knock Crawford out at 147. And Crawford was too little. Man. And it's crazy how we saw Crawford push that nigga all around the ring. That box I'm a Spence fan. I want to see Tank Davis fight somebody else, man. Yeah, I want to see Tank fight Davis. Tank Davis? I want to see Tank Davis fight Shakir Stevens. Yeah. Because uh, Haney ducking. Can I hit that? Haney ducking like a motherfucker. It's just done. For real? Damn. I, I think all right, Haney had to be bad. Damn, I think it did. No, it did. But Haney is undisputed at lightweight, though. What do you say? Uh, Devin Haney. He undisputed a lightweight there. <coughs> Isn't <coughs> just Tank a lightweight too? Yeah, he, but he, I'm just <coughs> saying, he just beat Vassil Lomachenko. Yeah. Devin Haney. So you can't sleep with Haney. Maybe you got a chance of Haney turning this shit up. You can like either one of them. Yeah. I don't see, I don't that see it happening though. I think Lomachenko would beat him up. If they yeah. fight again. Yeah, last time he fought, I thought he tapped him up with some good I left. honestly thought Lomachenko won. He was, he was supposed to. He tapped him up with some good luck. Yeah, bullshit. That's what it seemed like. Well, Mississippi yeah. man, months away. Mississippi man, months away from release. Gets yeah, 40 years for right trying to escape. How, though? Hold on, hold on. Before we even get to the how, 
If you only had months left, my months. nigga, and you did seven years, why is you, why is you trying to escape now? You right. should have tried that seven years seven ago. Seven fucking years. Come on, man. Y'all niggas, man. Come on, crazy. man. Y'all got to do better. And this month, the big thing is weeks, uh, years even. <laughs> I'm just like, bro, why? Like, because I know how it feels being that joke, thinking, like, maybe right. if I did try to run out this joke, I'd get away. But it's just like, damn. It's. To get 40 years, I thought it was five. It's a mandatory minimum of five years if you escape. This nigga, he had to have killed people. I don't know what the fuck. Did some wild stuff to get out there, you know, because I just like, don't know why he would do it. But yeah, much away. how? How did he get 40 years? That's right. The next That's the big thing. thing. That's what that was me. Uh, Somebody, he had to kill a security guard, bribe a security crazy. guard. The system's crazy. Blow up half a building to get 40 years, though. The system is not for you as a black man. It was a black man? Don't wow. excuse niggas a lot. As a black man, the system is not for you. As a brown skin man, the system That's why he got for Black man is And you know the thing about it is, I don't understand why <coughs> shit gotta be so hard out here. Look, we, right. can't even, we can't even smoke something that is legal. And they judge us. They judge why can't us. we peacefully coexist? Right. Why can't it just be. I love walk into a room and feel discriminated against nine times out of ten. Why is that? For what reason? Because people will not get to know you, but they will tell you and other people that you do things that you don't even do. Right. Mm-hmm. And I we'll think that's the craziest anything. part mm-hmm. is that you're spreading an opinion about people you don't even know. And that you never even tried to get to know. Honestly, right. you call a spade a spade. These same people that are judging people and that call people out be whole pedophiles and shit like that behind closed doors. Then it'd be a shame. The people who are doing the most crying out and judging be the ones who are doing the most things behind closed doors, just trying to draw di- indirect att- direct attention away from them. And you should be ashamed of yourselves. It's disgusting, honestly. It is impossible. Quite disgusting. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's, like horrendous. Yes. Like, how many more words can we find? Like, I'm telling you, man. Distasteful. It's, it's, it's disgusting. Distasteful, honestly. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I'm honestly, man, like, look, okay, so what do y'all think about, like, <coughs> the Fredericksburg politics and shit? Not keep just Fredericksburg, just like Virginia in general, like, right? the battle of color and the battle of hip hop. I think it's crazy because it's like, They'll do anything to keep black people at a lower level. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the sad part. It's like they'll do anything to keep the black people at a lower level. And it's like they'll single out hip hop, but like in reality, like they don't single out people that are fighting at the bars that are white. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yep. they'll break it up and be like, "Yo, yeah. go about your business." But the majority of the time, at the bars, it'd be them. Right. All the time. But like, I don't know, I feel like it shows, you know what I'm saying? They having shows out here where people saying racist stuff and you know what I'm saying? They just doing wild stuff and it's like, we've never had a fight at our shows. We've never, never had ever. anything really ever happen at our right. shows. And it's all you safe. know what I mean? It's, it's just, always, like, it's always well put together. Jealousy mixed with a little bit of envy and I don't know, man. It's people shit. gotta, people gotta, people don't wanna lose their spot, I guess. Yeah. But that's how that's how time works. You know what I'm saying? You had your chance. Now it's time for me to get get out the the way. Fuck out the way. And let let other people (laughs) drive. You know what I'm saying? Stop gatekeeping. Because once other people get the keys to gatekeep, and it's you on the other side, you ain't coming back. Good luck. And the thing is, people be thinking thinking that this is the all be all (laughs) and shit. Like, man, the world is a big ass place, bro. Virginia is a big place. Like, Travel more, motherfuckers. be just sitting in one spot. Think about it. If you, I can go three hours from here and touch a whole different part of Virginia, then I can go three hours the whole other way and right. touch a whole different part of Virginia. Yeah, Virginia's big. Yeah, we just gotta Virginia's a big place, bro. Like, environment. don't ever think that you know you're stopping something. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's so much money out here, and we we the type of people that we're hungry for it. So it's like you ain't doing nothing but challenge enough. Yeah, right. You know you what I mean? Yeah, like it's step how bad do you want it? Yeah, man. I feel like we want it bad, but Well the thing is we will understand step on niggas to get it. Mm, right. Choke your ass out for it. 
Um, I'm willing to choke your ass out with my respect. Right, but exactly. So respect, fortune. Other than that, I'm not wasting my time on nobody no more. Niggas know what it is. There's no need to put up niggas. So, right? what are the reasons to fight then? That kind of goes on to the next. Reasons is like disrespect. Disrespect. Wizards. Talking about my child. Right. Put your hands on me. Family. Like, you talk about family. Anything. Like, if if I'm the last person you should be playing with up this joint. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm telling you, man. And they say, they say, oh, you're too old to be fighting for me. But look, sometimes it comes a time I think there's nothing wrong with a little fist to cuffs. I think, I think what it is is that, you know, some people, bro. They've never even had somebody tell them, so like, they've never even experienced an actual thing mm-hmm. to even learn from. Them. So, you know how that goes. Everybody needs to be a little asshole. Everybody do, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, some people, some people think that once you get it, you don't they can talk it. with people in any type of way, and that's not ever going to happen, you know right. what I mean? And, the thing and at that point, why don't they want to give you the ass what you're asking for? Right, right. And honestly, I know that I used to work at a place where the boss got disrespectful with a nigga and the nigga locked himself in the office with that nigga mm. and you already know what time it was after that because right. they ain't had that same energy yet. and you got people that are jumping right. jumping the thing for you and then right. something happened to them and they beat them under the circumstances right mm-hmm. so, yeah. I feel like I feel like you can't victims. You can't jump out there, put your hands on somebody, and think that uh, another grown man at that and think that they're not going to defend themselves or think that. I don't know. I don't know what people think, but it was, you know, it's crazy. It, it's it's crazy. And then to start it at that, right. and to play victim is it's, even it's, more delusional. It's 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 uh, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's, it's actually wild. But you know, we let y'all do what y'all do, and we let y'all live how y'all live. You know what I'm saying? It don't it don't affect us. None. My thing is, is to continue to threaten and send messages to people after the so-called. Altercation. altercation that was not started by you so and so yeah like by you like I had some crazy shit man some crazy shit but look karma's a motherfucker because look whose episodes are still rolling and still coming out we still here baby and you know what it ain't need no hit on this album we can continue to pray for man, y'all niggas fired, cause bro. G-Mind we've been a positive movement my whole time it's not even I'm, I'm not even gonna say that y'all. it's all of this Nah, I'm not my fault. I ain't even gonna say that it's all of these folks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because there's a couple of y'all that ain't never did me nothing, and I fuck with y'all. Yeah, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, and yeah. I have no problem with fuck you niggas, you. bro. You know, I say what's up to y'all when I see you, but right. it's, you know, a couple certain people, a couple, couple people that, you know, individuals. I spit on you if I see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dead ass. Hey, dead ass. That's and I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna let you be outside, man, but look. Being outside, man, is not a good place in time, man. Being outside is being outside, bro. When you're outside, you're outside. Smoke is that I'm outside. Hey, uh, man, uh, give us purpose to cover up my life. Smoke is that I'm outside. I'm gonna tell you something. You ain't gay, you stay inside. Alright, so. What's been going on? Gucci store got robbed in Cali. Oh, shit. Don't now, this me. is my thing, right? So, like, if y'all were security, I wouldn't even try to stop these niggas. Fuck them clothes. Right. They ain't my clothes. They ain't my clothes. This ain't my closet. Well, you security is your job to protect it. So them security yeah. are I'm protecting the, the, the people. I protect the people in right. the room. Right. If they ain't gonna take the clothes, I'm gonna be like, man, let them niggas take the clothes. You don't care. You don't care. Them motherfuckers. Gucci rich as hell. Right. They'll be alright. They can take a loss. Just like we take a loss every day. Just like Walmart taking Walmart charges. Like nigga, you ain't doing nothing wrong. You just helping they system. out, right? You know what I'm saying? They wasn't gonna sell them charges anyway. Yeah, they definitely gotta get to it. Exactly, man. That's all old anyway. Exactly. Man. You're old. When you, when you get a little extra meat at the jump, at the at the uh, at the um, grocery store, you know what I'm saying? You know how you put the little the little um I'm giving away secrets. You get the sauce. Sauce. You got the little sauce jump, and you gotta put the meat. Yeah, in. you already done. Uh, you already done. Right. That little yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with that, yo. Mo wasn't giving it. Oh. But look, Bernie Mac once said, money attracts females you want, struggles attract females you need. That's it's true. very true. Uh, that's the truth. Cause Cause I talk about it. Look, when I get this money, I'm going to be fucking the females I want. That's for damn sure. Uh-huh. I'm hey, shout out to it. 
shout out to this one chick I heard that had to unsubscribe from Gordon Mon TV because she felt like these things I said about women were not very good. And I feel you. I apologize and I do understand where you're coming from. But this show is about satire as well as I'm just talking. I actually love women. And I'm actually we love them. Yes. And we're just having fun here, man. So if you ever let to come on the show and write comics, please come on the show. So, um, benefits of being single. More time for self, travel flexibility, more time for community, save money. Oh shit, this show can change. Confidence and cultivate deeper friendships. Now, do y'all like the single life or do you like the relationship life? Which one of y'all? I like a little bit of both. Yeah, I like being in a relationship as long as everything's smooth, going according to plan, and then like. <clears throat> when does that happen? But this no, is like, the thing, like, though. This is the thing about relationships, though. That shit ain't never. It's always. It's like life, right? So like everything is a balance. Yeah, so everything is good and bad, right? Yeah. And then you know life's gonna go good, and then it's gonna go bad. And then it's gonna go back good, and it's gonna go bad, and it's the same thing with relationships. So It'll be good at first, yeah, and then it'll get bad. Yeah. If you can make it through the bad, it's gonna get good again. Right. But most people can't make it through that bad. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they just, just they quit halfway yeah. through the bad instead of just pushing past that first bad part. Once you push through. past that first bad part, when the bad come back, then you're just like, oh, we already did this. Been through it's it's a a relationships are journeys. If you don't want to put up the fight or go through the journey, then don't be in a relationship. Point blank period. But some people are so dependent on people that they force relationships on themselves. And you shouldn't force a relationship on yourself when you're not ready for it. It takes a lot of sacrifice. Some people who get in relationships and don't even love themselves. And that's to me is crazy. I, I feel like love somebody how else you can't love yourself. Even try to love somebody else and you don't even love yourself. You don't even that's know. That's where these become toxic. Yourself. Toxic is, is, is it comes from that's the first step of toxic. Yeah, that's the toxic, chemical yeah. X. That's how the Powerpuff Girls is made. <laughs> My thing is, is jumping into a situation that you already knew from the jump was going to be a, a situation that was going to give you a headache. Like it's like we can foresee these things. It's almost like why the fuck do we just want to just go through the battle of, of fucking going through it? It's crazy. I love when my females come back though. I love y'all. I love every last one of y'all. <clears throat> but that's ah, crazy out here. Alright, let me go through some more shit here. Let's see what else. Y'all, what have y'all been thinking, seeing this boozy versus Kodak Black shit? I have. I don't need, I just stay out of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't blame Boozy for taking that meal. I wouldn't, right. I wouldn't, I don't know. I probably would have did the same thing he did. Take the mill and just that nigga on his own track. So but I mean, at the same time, I can see Boozy part about selling your morals. I can see right. that. You could have got a million for someone else. Would you but. do a song with six by four million? Yeah, because I don't got a million. Right. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would have so did, did, did the same thing. I would have just done a million for the group. They cut out a whole nother part of the song. That Kodak was like a whole nother bar Kodak that said like more wild shit. And they cut it from the from the final cut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Kodak was talking his shit on there. Kodak talking his shit? Yeah, I'm just like, the whole video, though? He trying to get a verse. The whole video, though? He got a mill, though. The video, though? The video, they... Look, that's what they got a million at the taxes. That's about $800,000. Nah, they not have the taxes. That was the cash. That's cash. Oh, man, that's a check. You check that joint in, they going... They ain't even no check. They ain't even no check. That's a whole uh, thing. Right taking table. that bitch out, putting it in the money counter. That's the money. Especially if you if you six nine, if you six nine with all the braids you got, or Kodak, you got in cash. Six like, nine didn't even pay for it. Whack one hundred did. The bullshit. Oh yeah. But this is like bullshit. Yeah. Who's in that wrong though? Because oh, it's no, like, why would you? He be just saying a whole bunch of rest. I mean, he just talk, he just be talking, but well, like, at the end of the day though, he's a good manager though, because I mean, shit, all his artists still relevant. Yeah. Yeah, they money. So he used the, uh, the internet as a tool now. He just says wild ass shit now, but like he just know, like I don't know. We gotta get that Sean Cotton sauce that he gave Aunt Lizzie, so we can be popping on this shit too. Mm -hmm. And we can be in the podcast mix too on the fucking lives with them niggas chopping it up right. okay. from a Virginia standpoint. Mm -hmm. So this black woman, she says that. Clubs and lounges and restaurants are overcharging and burning its own people out for a lifestyle. Yeah. What do y'all think? Yep. Yeah. It's very true. It's 
Y'all yeah, charging us. Basically, you charging me, goddamn, when me and Juice can put our money together, go get a bottle for it at the goddamn or ABC store and drink in the car. Inflation or is crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For three drinks. Inflation is crazy, especially when money really is.